In this video, we will look at how we can multiply and divide rational expressions made up of polynomials. As we reduce, we must remember to divide out factors. We must first factor the expressions. So let's take a look at some problems where we have to factor first in order to divide out the common factors. In this example, we see several different types of factoring. Let's see if we can set up the problem in factored form so we can reduce out common factors. In the numerator, we have three terms, and so we will factor by the AC method. Multiplying to 2 and adding to 3. This is 2 times 1. Because we have a 1 in front of x squared, we can jump right to our factors x plus 2 times x plus 1. In the denominator, we notice with two terms, they have a greatest common factor of 4. Factoring out the greatest common factor of 4 leaves us with x minus 3. In the second fraction, in the numerator, we notice with three terms, we must use the AC method. Multiplying to 6 and adding to negative 5. This is possible with negative 2 and negative 3. Our factors are x minus 2 times x minus 3. We can jump right to those factors only because there is a 1 in front of the x squared. In the denominator, we notice we have a difference of squares. This will factor to the sum and the difference of the square roots. This will be x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now we're allowed to reduce by dividing out the factors in common in both the numerator and denominator. Notice the x plus 2 appears on top and bottom. Same with the x minus 2 and the x minus 3. All that's left for this problem is the x plus 1 over 4, which becomes our final solution. Let's take a look at one more example where we have to factor first before we're allowed to reduce as a result of the pluses and minuses in the problem. In this problem, you notice we're also dividing, so we will have to take the second fraction and flip it. So what we have is 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 over x squared plus 3x plus 2 times x squared minus 3x minus 4 over 6x squared plus x minus 1. Factoring the first numerator, we want to multiply to negative 6 and add to 5. This is going to be positive 6 and negative 1. To set up our factors in the fraction, to get 3x squared, we need 3x times x. 3x is multiplied by something to give us the 6. That's 3x times 2. In the center, x times negative 1 will give us the negative 1 we want. In the denominator, we're multiplying to 2 and adding to 3. This is 2 times 1. With a 1 in front of x squared, that tells us the factors are x plus 2 times x plus 1. On the right side, in the numerator, we're multiplying to negative 4 and adding to negative 3. This will be negative 4 and positive 1. Because of the 1 in front of the x squared, we can factor it to x minus 4, x plus 1. In the denominator, we're multiplying to negative 6 and adding to 1. This is going to be 3 and negative 2. As we try and factor, we find the way to get 6x squared is going to be 3x times 2x, because 6 times 1 will not work. 3x times positive 1 and 2x times negative 1 will make it work. And now we can divide out our common factors of 3x minus 1, x plus 2, x plus 1, to get our final answer of x minus 4 over 2x plus 1.